And we begin with breaking news this evening in a case that we have been following since 2015. Tonight, police have confirmed that human remains found in Little Rock Park this week are those of missing 18-year-old Ebby Stefik. Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. Those remains discovered in a drainage ditch Tuesday at Shalmont Park. It's the site where Ebby discovered and where the search has been centered since she vanished in the fall of 2015. The mother's girl tells us that the mother's of the missing girl is telling us that she's always had a bad feeling about that location. Leave my house and just drive towards Walmart knowing is she out there? Is her body out there? Was she there? I mean, I think about that constantly. Karen for is Mitch McCoy joining us now live at Shelmont Park tonight with reaction following this unfortunate news that we're getting this evening. Mitch, people have been showing up to pay their respects there all day long. Yeah, Bob, we've seen cars shuffle in through the park to pay their final respects. Uh, we are here at the park. This is the memorial behind me. It's just about 30 feet away from where Ebby's remains were found. It's actually right on the other side of this tree line here. Those drainage pipes that investigators dug up about 24 hours ago. Shelma Park has been the center of various searches, including the use of cadaver dogs on Tuesday. Little Rock Police cold case investigators, the FBI, and Public Works Department dug up a section of drainage pipe near where Ebby Stepik's car was found shortly after she disappeared in October of 2015. Just a few hours ago, police released a video talking about why they decided to dig up the drainage pipe. Investigators say they used robots with video cameras and they saw obstructions about 70 feet down from the top where the drainage pipes begin, which is where Ebby's car was found. People have been stopping by the memorial all evening to pay their respects. I come down here every once in a while just to like pray. Um, so I said a few prayers and I have a lucky um, dollar coin that I put down there. So. Investigators say the obstructions they hit were not human remains, but they decided to dig the pipes up anyways. Investigators also not commenting on if those obstructions in the pipes are now pieces of evidence. Police are also being careful not to call the case a homicide. However, about one year ago, I had an exclusive interview with the detective on Ebby Stepik's case. He told me that the case did have the potential of being a homicide. Police are stressing that they need help in this case. If you know anything at all, you are asked to call the Little Rock Police Department. That number is on the bottom of your screen. They say all tips will remain strictly confidential. Ebby Stepik's family also releasing a lengthy statement tonight saying that God answers all prayers and God answered their prayers to find Ebby. You can read that entire statement on our website at krk.com. Live in West Little Rock, Mitch McCoy, KRK 4 News. All right, Mitch, thanks very much. And, and this has been a long journey for the family. Many questions, though, remain tonight after the announcement. That ended a two-and-a-half-year mystery. Ebby was reported missing in October of 2015. That was on the 26th of that month. Her car was found in the park four days later. Police and volunteers searched that area repeatedly but found nothing. In May of last year, Ebby's parents told syndicated TV show Crime Watch Daily that Ebby was set to report an alleged sexual assault when she vanished and that mistakes were made in the investigation. Ebby's body was discovered Tuesday after investigators had a drainage pipe excavated at Shalmont Park, a park they had been to several times before. According to her official Facebook page, where thousands have been following this story, a celebration of Ebby's life will be held on Saturday afternoon at 2 at Christ Community Church in Little Rock. And of course, stay with KRK4 News. We're bringing you the very latest on the investigation as it develops on air and online and, of course, at krk.com.